Hello everybody, Jesse Dexy here. Welcome to Juiced 2, a third attempt at recording this. The first time I forgot to record the microphone, but thankfully I noticed when uh, I just got a little bit into the game. The second time, I uh, not much happened, so I'm just uh, going to record a third time and see what happens here. I'm going to skip some of the stuff here, um, load this one, okay, yeah, there's no music playing, um, due to the license soundtrack, um, I think most of them are inst instrumentals, but there are some songs that have lyrics in them, and those will, will be the ones that will be licensed, at least on YouTube, so, I turn the music off, you can do that in the audio settings here. Extras, options, audio. Have the music down all the way. Sound effects. I have uh, basically neutral. Car is a little bit up and then speech and microphone for the game is all the way up. Just so we can hear them talking. And uh, also, um, I did receive a qu question in a previous Juice 2 video quite a long time ago. But uh, for those of you who don't know how to change the miles per hour to kilometers per hour or vice versa, it is default at miles per hour, but you can come into controls here and on the bottom right you have speed units. Press RB right bumper on the Xbox 360 version and you can switch between them. I'm, an, I'm using kilometers per hour and uh, you can choose between the different controls, but the others don't have what I really want. What I'm wanting for controls here is the throttle and brake to be the trigger buttons, yes. But I usually have handbrake and uh, nitro be the A and X buttons. Usually nitro will be A and X for handbrake or the other way around. But in Juice 2, and this is probably true for the first Juice as well, nitro is Y for whatever reason, I don't know why and it doesn't change to a control setting that I want, so I just leave it default at one. So yeah, that's where you can change the uh, the speed units if you're not sure about that, and the graphics is just basically the brightness. So I'll just leave it as it is there. And yeah, let's get into career. There is no music playing, but I do have, I downloaded some of the um, main menu instrumental music so i will insert that whenever i'm in the um menu stuff so and i'll show you when we get in there but yeah let's start the career get into the hot import nights initiation challenge and get through this first and then i will uh, when we get into the main menu stuff then i'll talk about the music that i'll insert instrumental music main menu music bits Welcome to the track. You gotta take at least third place. Let's go down to the grid and check out some of the competition. All right. Let's do it. Look at these bogos. A lot of them, but we'll beat them. This is Tyrone, or the Storm, as he likes to call himself. Mm -hmm. His DNA is cooking, so don't get burned. And this is Crystal, with crystal cool DNA that will put you on ice. Place a bet with her and break the ice. Go ahead, put your money down. I don't usually make bets against Crystal here. I usually make them against Bobby because he would be the one that would raise the bets almost every time. So we're just gonna bet it for two grand. Okay, let's see what happens. Yep. I will still beat you. Don't worry. Now scope out the rest of the grid, and when you're good to go, drop the hammer. I will still take your money. So yeah, you might as well just give it to me now. Alright, the other guys. There is Nicholas with his Pontiac G6 Coupe. The Mini Cooper S for Crystal, and she will usually have, after this point, a Mazda RX-8, which is nice. A Mazda Miata MX-5 for Tara. Kiko or Kaiko, whichever you guys like to 
like to pronounce it, I always say Kiko. Free gonna Hyundai Coupe B6, not bad. The Hyundai that I usually drive in uh, racing games, especially Need for Speed, well, obviously with Need for Speed Underground 2, that's where it's sewed up, and uh, Underground 1 for that matter, is the Hyundai Tiburon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Tiburon. Tiburon, or something like that, GT, so. This is uh, not the same car, but it's still uh, nice. The car that we are borrowing for the time being in this race is the Sylvia S15 Spec R, which is a nice Nissan car, especially for drifting. But we're not going to be able to keep it, obviously, for reasons unknown, but uh, yeah. I'm sure we'll pick up that car again in the future in this playthrough, because it is a nice car. Bobby Sawyer, this is the guy who I, I will make frequent bets with, because he will obviously, well, not obviously, but he will most of the time up the bets. So if you try to bet the highest amount, he may not always accept that, and may either decline or lower the bet. So if you hit the second most, to bet, he will 99% accept it, so, and raise the bet, so, yeah, that's what I will always do, so he's gonna Audi TT right there, Leon is gonna forward focus, he's not gonna focus that much in the race, because he's gonna lose, and Tyrone in another Audi TT, that's interesting, alright, let's go. I think I've talked um, enough here for this crap, so let's go. go. Alrighty. When we, uh, there are uh, a couple things we can do on the racetrack. If you can see the bar raising right there in, on the guy in front of me, that's the spook bar. We can spook a racer that's ahead of us. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can spook a racer that's ahead of us, and they'll spin out, and we can get ahead of them. Like so, even though he wasn't spooked at that time. Oh, Tyrone, go away. Nobody likes you. Oh, will you stop hitting the car? Oh my god! I do not usually drive like this, but wow. A little bit of a squirrely car today. Come on, Nissan, you're better than that. There we go, whoa. What? Don't do that. Sometimes the right analog stick, which is the rotating the controls uh, camera, rotating the camera button, or stick, um, sometimes that will uh, rotate the camera on its own, so hate when that happens. So that's how the camera just went to the side view of the car, because the right analog stick likes to drift on its own, you know what I'm saying? All right. Crystal got second, which is surprising. She doesn't usually get second place, but yeah. Bobby, you suck. You can't even get third place. You are not worthy. You smoked that one. I know. Take your spot on the podium and soak it up. Time for the last qualifier, and that means drifting. Catch you there. All right, so we got to get into drifting as well. So we got 10 grand for that. And then another four grand because we won the bet. So we got our money back, but we also got her money too. So yeah. So if you make a bet against uh, Bobby frequently, you always uh, more money than you would think. All right, solo drift beat the target drift score to win the challenge. You earn points faster by drifting longer. You can chain your drift too, but uh, you you just gotta be careful not to hit the wall because that will cut your score in half, which sucks. Drifting's the new way to get around the track. Yeah. Check out this slick drifting circuit to slide your ride. It's all about going sideways for as long as you can hold it. It's no race, so slow your roll. You just need to rack up a few points. Now, let's go smoke this challenge. Okie dokie. Rolling start. Ready. Go. I think this is the only game, unless it also says it in the first game, that uh, the only 
racing game that I know of that the announcer says Rolling Start. I'm not sure if that's true, but... Oh well. I like to uh, get high scores in the drifting. It's pretty easy. Oh, whoa. Almost hit the wall there. Ooh. So this is basically like Drift Obliterator. You gotta get the target amount of points per lap. So that's basically what you have to do there. But it's a solo Drift Obliterator. So. You can also use the handbrake to help you out in case the car doesn't want to turn sideways, but you got to be careful of the speed because the car will slide quite a bit on the track, so it will hit the wall easily if you're not careful. That was insane. You're ready to roll in the rookie league. Oh, I didn't get an even score, but at least I didn't hit a wall, so ha 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 ha. All right. Well, that's the last time we're gonna use this car, and unless we get, if comment down below if you want to. Uh, you got the goods, but you need a ride to race. Pick a car and start your career. Are you done talking? Okay. Comment down below if you want me to buy the Nissan uh, Sylvia again in this playthrough. Well, not buy it again. What am I talking about? If you if you want to see me get the car and drive it at some point in this playthrough, then let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. All right, dealership, let's uh, get a car. All right, we can hit all cars. That will show the list of all the cars. I think 15 is what we will have right at the start. But also, um, to finish my uh, explanation on the music, um, there's no music playing when I'm recording because I turned the music off. But I have downloaded the um, main menu music track and I will insert them whenever we are on the main menu here um, and the music will continue until we get into a race so the music will still play until we get into an event so that's how I will be doing that so that that this is gonna be the only time when I'm in the main menu during the playthrough that you'll hear the music okay um, so yeah, let's just hit all cars. Yep, 15, I was right. All right, Toyota Corolla GTS. I would probably get this car if it's not for the fact that this car cost 16,666. So many sixes, it is the devil. So I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> It is a good starting car, but uh, let's see what else we have here available. Uh, let's take Toyota Scion ST. I mean, what? TC? <laughs> uh, not a bad car to start with. It's front wheel drive. So the rear wheel drive, which would obviously be good drift cars. Front wheel drive, which you can drift, but you gotta, um, you gotta be more careful with the front wheel drive because they will probably uh, spin out a bit more than you think. I haven't really drifted front wheel drives that much in this game, but uh, if we get a front wheel drive car in the, in the playthrough sometime, I'll test it out. Um, we got a Citroen. Is that how you pronounce that? C2 BTR. Hyundai Coupe V6. Not a bad car right there. Front wheel drive though. Ford Gran Torino, which is uh, Pretty good car to buy. It's rear wheel drive, good drift car, muscle car. So, if you like muscle cars, this would be a good one to start with. I think it's the only muscle car in this list so far. Well, not in the whole car list, but in the starter car list. Um, Ford, Ford Focus, Mazda Miata, Pontiac G6 Coupe, Volkswagen Beetle G GLS. So front wheel drive, so front wheel drive would be pretty good in our uh, race a bunch and would be pretty nice to have when you launch the car at the starting line. Front wheel drive will generally have more hookup off the line than rear wheel drive, so 
do that. Um, that was the Toyota MRS right there. Interesting looking car. Honda CRX. Nissan 200SX. Um, three more, the Mini Cooper S. Audi TT, Quattro, and then the final car which I said that Crystal will have. The Mazda RX-8. And this is the car I usually start off with because I just like this car a lot. Rear wheel drive, good drift car. And yeah, 32,000, it is the most expensive car here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, um, the Audi TT looks like it's the most expensive. Um, which one would be the least expensive? Ford Focus? Yeah, Ford Focus is the least expensive. Okay, so let's, uh, I usually start with the Mazda RX-8, but, uh, let's start with a different car. Um, real-world drive car, that is. Um, we could start with... You know what? Let's go with the to Corolla. Let's go with the Corolla, shall we? Yes. Let's start with the Corolla this time. Here's a complete history of this ride. Check out these stats. Number of previous owners, race pedigree, value, and amount of cash that's been spent on this sled. The car's value is tied to how much money it's won. So keep racing and betting and your car will be worth a mint. Be sure to check the logbook. It'll tell you how the car has been treated. More cars will be unlocked when we get higher up in the league. So we hit go race here. We have rookie league. League 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then World Class, and then Hin Elite, which is the final one. So, the leagues here, we, the starter cars here, we, they start in Rookie League. So that's when the earliest we can buy the cars. So whatever the stock league is for the car, that's when you can actually get the car. Max League is uh, when the car's performance upgrades will end and you can't upgrade further than that. That's what that means. So, for the Corolla, I believe it's League 5 when the Max League is there. So, when, once we get past League 5, we can't upgrade the performance anymore after that. And we'll see that when we uh, get past League 5. So, so usually by then, um, when you finish your league, the game will ask you whether you want to upgrade the current car or if you want to buy a new car. So you can you have the option of upgrading your own car or getting a new one. So, um, but I think if you don't have any car, any other car, if you just have one car, for example, that has the max league of five, and once you pass league five it'll say that you have to get a new car because you won't be able to keep using it after League 5. I think that's what it means. So, know that. So let's go and upgrade the car so you make it look fancy and all that crap. So, oh, before that, um, we got the money right there on the bottom right. So we have 15150 So that's basically how much the sell value is so if we want to sell the car that's how much we'll get back so obviously it's 15,000 right now we paid 16.6k for the car and that's how much we'll get back with, with what's currently on the car performance and visual wise so when we upgrade the car we'll get more value back so that's what that means um, we'll unlock visuals here. Use this screen to unlock new visual mods or new decal packs. These will then become available in the visual mod section of the garage. Complete more goals to unlock more packs and mods. I'm not going to be going crazy with all of these. Because I'm not usually a person that will have a lot of decals be put on the car. So, there's quite a bit of stuff here that you would be interested in even the juice retro pack you can get some of that stuff and i can unlock it right now but uh what i'd like to unlock first would be these so these stuff here 
is not exactly decals, but these are visual mods. So extra bodywork stuff that you can do to the car, you can have these as well. So tinted windows, ride height adjustments, wing door conversion from Need for Speed Underground 2. So that is there. Racing seats, roof upgrades. So that will give you the ability to put roof scoops on, I think. Or if I, well, the picture right there is uh, taking the roof off to make it look like a convertible. So I think that's what that means. It's just uh, taking, giving you the ability to take the roof off and steering wheels. So I'm going to be getting all of these for starting out. Um, um, I don't usually mess with the racing seat and the racing wheel, but uh, these three I usually use a lot and the conversion to a convertible, I don't really use that that often. So let's see here. Um, roof. Okay, so it does give you the ability to uh, upgrade the roof as well, not just to make it a convertible. So it gives you some roof scoops, carbon roof, which is nice. You can't make this one a convertible though, but you do have a roof scoop option there. I'll make it carbon, why not? And performance mods, here we go. This is the spot to seriously tune the performance of your ride. Check out what you can do to a car. Pretty hot. On top of that, there are three types of mods for you to play with. Alright, so I'm basically probably going to skip or like take out the customization um, stuff that I do because they would probably take a little while to go through and I don't know if you guys would want to listen and see all of that so I'm just going to skip them but if you do want to see that, all that that I do then uh, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so for now we have... Um, power one, handling one, and weight one on there. So if we want to unlock the power, handling, and weight two, we have to do a challenge to unlock them and then pay to upgrade. So what I usually like to do is leave the handling alone. Cause I don't, I'm not really that interested in up in the handling. It doesn't really do that much to the handling. And if anything, it kind of makes it a little more um, understeery for me, in a way. Makes it tighter and not really that loose. I like to leave the handling at one, so I'm not going to be doing any upgrades for that. But power and weight, I will definitely do. So let's do this challenge here. Lap time challenge, Blitz Assault. We got to beat this lap in under a minute. So yeah, let's do that. Alright, nice and easy, just get around the track as fast as you can. So, this one is a typical lap challenge, we just beat the time, but there is another lap challenge. It's this is really straight up, just run the lap within the time limit. There is another lap challenge later on that we'll do, that is perfect lap, and you, you have to beat the time without hitting the walls. So or anything for that matter, so let's go. What is that? I put in my name and look at the license plate. A, B, C, D, E, one, two, three, four, five, what? Why did it do that? They could not like what I put in? It's Justy Dusty, that's my name. That's my channel name right there. There's nothing weird about that. I'm hitting the handbrake around the corners here just to bring up the boost. We beat it, no problem. 54-34. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. The uh, 
Yeah, the election place just got wielded out on me. I don't know why. Uh, I guess I'll do what I would usually do for the license plate. I'll I'll change it to uh, the car name. What I usually do for that is um, I don't know if uh, picking a particular um, um, what do you call them manufacturer. I don't know if any of the if uh, any of them are different, I I think uh, if you pick one more, then you get a discount on them. I don't know what goes on with the decal stuff in the game. I don't usually do any of that. But uh, yeah, let's uh, change the license plate because, uh, wait a minute. It's normal right here, but in the event it changed, I'm just going to change it anyway. Um, let's get rid of all of that. I'm just gonna go, uh, Corolla. Cause what I usually do is just have the car name be on here, so... Uh, let's see, um... Corolla... I don't think there's any letters or numbers that would look like an L, so I'm just gonna put the L's there and then just have A, B, 4 and then, yeah, Corolla. Um, maybe I can, uh, is there a Japan license plate? No, there's not. Hmm, how do you keep it like that? But yeah, there we go, so. So hopefully that won't uh, look weird in the game here. I'm sorry for going so long on the commentary here, but I'm trying to explain all that I can for you guys. Um, just in case you need any explanations. Um, yep, let's go here. Perfect lap challenge, here we go. We can't hit anything. So if you hit anything, you get eliminated, and we have to beat 50 seconds, which we can do just fine. This is just like the lap time challenge, but if you hit a barrier, you're history. She says like that, she's, she says it like that, like we're gonna get into an accident and die. That's what she means by, you're history. Literally, history. All right. Let's not hit anything. Whoa. No, 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 no. Woo. Whoa. Careful. Whee. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna beat it just fine. Oh, wow. Got a little close there at some point. 4025, oh my god. Okay, let's uh, pay for the package, get some weight reduction on the car, and then uh, get into some races. Cause I know we wanna get some of that going. All right, um. All right, so we basically dropped 34 pounds, or kilograms, basically. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the customization, so... I could change the wheels, uh, but uh, I'll do that later, maybe. If you like the wheels like they are, then just let me know. Uh, yeah, let's get into... Oh, you're gonna let me talk now? Oh my god. Okay, so we got the promotion event here. So this is locked until you do the goals required for the promotion to unlock. So we have to do six events here in Rookie League to uh, unlock that and then get going. But because this is the Rookie League and there's not many 
not many things in here. I usually just complete rookie league 100% all the time, so yeah. Um, so we got some circuit races here. Eliminate, elimin, eliminator event, solo drift, drift king, uh, European circuit, a driver bet in a circuit event, um, 50,000 points. So this stuff we can do together. So basically what that means is when you get... Here's a list of rookie events where you can meet your goals. Remember, you can meet more than one goal at an event. You'll get a tip for each goal you make. I'm the one doing the talking here, Missy. Alright, I'm the one explaining. Okay, we don't need you to interrupt me all the time. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, what she said. So, we got um, five things we can do here in this one event for a trauma. So, we got win a US circuit event. We can do a driver bet. There's a jump in the event here, basically, that little lip where we can if we go fast we can do some airtime and the, the accumulation of the airtime uh, will um, stay hmm, how do I explain that so basically it doesn't reset back to zero seconds so we need to do three seconds I think of airtime it'll accumulate over time so We'll eventually get that the more we go over that little jump. And then we gotta scale someone or spook someone in this game. And then for the bit speed barrier there, the odometer on the, the bottom red one there, is you gotta reach a speed target. So that's what that is. And if we go over here, then we're gonna be able to do another one, which is in a different area. Now they're both in the same area. But this is the Eliminator as well, so we're just gonna do this. Uh, in the Corolla, so with the upgrade that I have done, it up the selling value by 5,000, so that's what that does there. Alrighty. Okay, sorry, sorry for talking so long now, I was trying to explain a lot of stuff, but uh, I'll be cutting out some parts, so. It's all up for the back of the again. pack definitely Andrew ain't the place to be on Circuit Eliminator. Every lap, the last place drivers sent home until there's only one. I know. Okay. The crowd's always down with Keiko. She's been driving hot imports since her 17th birthday, and all that track time has hardwired her genius brain to always make the right play. Okay then. All right, Kiko, we gotta look out for. I can't remember who we gotta spook though. Oh, so I gotta. I think who we gotta spook is Crystal or Kiko. It's one of the two, so I'll spook both of them in the way, and then we'll find out. Um, there's Tyrone, there's Leon, and Crystal. I guys said in the RXA. She likes that car, so let's uh, place a bet against Kiko. Let's see how much you will give. Uh, 3,000, what are you going to do? Lower to 2,300. Ah, whatever. That's fine. It'll be an honor to race you. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's do some racing. I'm gonna spook Kiko first, and then if the goal shows up as completed, then, oh, it shows you right there. I forgot about that. It shows you who you have to spook, and it's Crystal, so we gotta spook her. Come on, Crystal. I gotta spook you. Get your butt back here. There you go. Alright, now we gotta beat Kiko. At least. Even if we come in second place, as long as you are ahead of the... Whoa! As long as you're ahead of the person you place the bet on, you'll still beat the bet and get the money. So... Excuse me, coming through. 
There's no need to be ahead of me because I need to win. Obviously, the higher you place, the more you win. Huh. Best record is 29. What? Take out. Get behind me. Woo. There you go. Crystal is eliminated. Go away, Kiko. Ow. Woo. We've been going over this jump as well, so... I don't think that goal will be gotten right there, but... We'll see. Yeah, the other people who got eliminated will uh, just drive, just cruise around the track. They they are uh, still um, they are still visible with a collision, so you don't want to hit them at all. I probably should have sped up there. Kiko is right behind me, though. That's not cool. All right, let's speed. Ha! I even beat Ke uh, Crystal to the finish line there. All right. So we cleared quite a few goals. Uh, I don't think we reached the speed target. We know. I know we didn't get the jump one, but we did beat everything else there. So, wait, no. Uh, we had to beat twenty five hundred for the driver bet. She lowered it below that, so we don't actually beat that one. Oh, that sucks. Screw you, Kiko. Why did you lower it under the amount needed? My god. You should have just kept it at 3,000. Well, I'm not gonna bet against Kiko no more. Because we know she's gonna screw that up. Alright. And Kiko is uh, generally a better driver than Crystal, so if you're gonna bet one of those two girls, just bet against Crystal. Okay. Uh, I don't... I could, I could probably do one more race. Um, let's see what we got here. I don't know how long the video will be after I complete it, but uh, yeah. We're gonna do this one. Um, Let's do a drift event first, and then we'll call it quits here, and then we'll, in the next video, we'll do the rest of the stuff in Rookie League, do the promotion, and go from there. So, let's do solo drift here, and um, French Revolution, hmm. let's go. Also, when you win, win races, you'll also increase the star value as well, so. Okay. French Revolution is basically all sorts of big rates. The longer you drift, the more you score. But watch out. If you hit the wall, most of your score will rub off with your paint. Keep the rubber side down. Okay. Ready. Yeah, basically like that. Oh my god, will you stop hitting the wall, man? What the hell, man? Oh, wow. Wow. Once you get it in control, it is pretty damn good. Whoa, don't hit the wall. I want to make it to a million. Come on. We have three laps, so we can definitely make it to a million. Oh, no. Ow, you suck. Come on, game. Why did you do that to me, game? Oh, you, bleh. 
Well, we got 100,000 points there. We accumulated 50,000. This is easy crap to do. It's only solo drifts are easy to do, but uh, when you're in the uh, drift obliterator with other drivers going around, it'll be a little harder to do. But as long as you're controlling your drift, you should have no problem. I'm not gonna make it to a million. 890,000. If I didn't hit that wall that other time, I would have I would have definitely made it to uh, a million. But no, 193 had to go to waste. Mm. All right, five grand for that? Oh my God, you suck. That is lame. All right, solo drift and accumulate 50,000 is done. All righty, so I'm gonna stop the video here. Um, I'm at 50 minutes for the recording right now, but uh, I've got to edit it, cut down some parts, and then uh, cut out some parts, and then uh, go from there. So hopefully uh, you guys are going to be okay with this first video being a little more um, vocal with the explanations and stuff and whatnot. So yeah, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this uh, first video. If you uh, liked it, then leave a like on the video and uh, subscribe for more content coming your way so next video of this will uh, come out on thursday i know i said um it's gonna start thursday but i'm gonna give it to you today so uh tuesday is today this is the day i'm recording it so i'm just gonna give it to you to you to you <laughs> i'm gonna give it to you guys today and then uh, give you a second episode on thursday just to give you a, a bit more content because um this is going to be a Tuesday and Thursday upload, so I wanted to give you two videos of this game this week, just so um, you guys will be looking forward to that. So, after this uh, video, in the next video, we're going to do a lot more events, so be prepared for that. Later.